Today I'm going to show you guys how we do grip tape uh, in the shop. It's a little different. Most of the videos that I've seen uh, have the grip tape peeled off, put on the deck, and then cut. And uh, I've definitely had trouble doing it that way. I've seen some guys do it and it's amazing. But this way is a little bit easier to do at home. It becomes a little bit of a craft project. And like I say, this is the way we recommend doing it. So what you'll need, of course, is your deck, a piece of grip tape, a pen or a pencil, scissors, something hard, a hard edge, like a Allen key, and a square or even just a straight edge will work. So I'll just take you through this. We take our deck, we figure out which way we want our grip tape to go, whereabouts we want it, if we want it further back. Some guys don't grip tape across the front, they leave that open and some don't grip tape across the back, they just do it as a rectangle, which is super easy, but you still have to figure out which way your orientation is, even if you're just gonna create a rectangle with no cutouts. So we always recommend making it as centrally located as possible. You wanna make sure it's all even. And so this, what I'm gonna show you is how we do the cutouts, but you can adapt this however you like. So you'll notice that there are uh, welds on the deck here. What I do is I mark the grip tape to the outside of that weld and to the outside of that weld because we're going around. So again, if we look at our orientation, that's the way I want it. So I just flip it over, mark the back again at the weld. And what we're trying to do here is create a box. So I use my straight edge. This is my, this is my back edge of the box. Just create a couple lines here and there. Check that. Now I mark at the back of the brake here, and I'm gonna cover the hole. You don't have to, but in this case, I'm going to. So I mark that once again, line it up so it's even. Mark to the outside of the brake opening. I always do a little bit wider uh, if I can. But again, if you kind of screw up or you make things too tight in there, you can always trim it out later uh, because we're not gonna place this until we're totally ready. My lines are quite light, I apologize for that, it must be hard to see. Uh, sometimes the backing for this grip tape can be really hard to draw on, but as long as you get something you can work with, you should be okay. So I've got my two boxes, front and back. And what I like to do is I use a pair of scissors, don't use your best scissors, grip tape can be quite hard on them. And I, but when I cut, I try to curve it a little bit. So there's my front part. Break opening. that simple. Always do a test fit before peeling it. You can see I've left the way I've cut it. Leave a little bit around there. I don't really like it going up on the welds, but that's just a personal preference. Back looks good. Front looks good. At this point, you can peel it off. This stuff's never, each grip tape is different. So just a word about grip tape, we do recommend you buy a premium grip tape like a Hella Grip or a Tilt, uh, much better. Uh, a lot of the um, other stuff that we see that's made in China uh, just doesn't ad adhere as well. So and this can be tough doing it on by yourself. I've done a few. Always is easier doing it with a, another person. And so there we have it. Grip tape is on. 
press it down firmly. Make sure there's no air bubbles. If you do get an air bubble, you can peel it back and relay it. Sometimes if it's a big one and you don't want to do that or it's really sticky, just put a pinhole in it and press it down and that'll work. So you can see we have some overhang here. And this is what our hard edge tool is gonna to help with. Take our tool and rub it at an angle along the deck. And hopefully you can see the line that it brings up. It's quite pronounced. So what this does is it weakens the grip tape there. It also pushes it down so it, it, uh, it's much more likely to stick better. to see that and from here now that we've got our grip tape stuck down and our lines are nice and pronounced um, I usually have this up on a stand but I can show you just in my hands here I run the knife along at an angle using the deck and some definitely cuts better than others uh, again, the, the Chinese made stuff is not the best to cut, but again, it's grip tape. Chances are you're going to change it several times over the life of the scooter. So in this case, I'm going to kind of start in the middle. Again, we don't want to cut towards us if we can avoid it. Let's trim off the edges. Got to be careful. Every deck coating will respond differently. This one is chipping and wasn't a great coating, I don't think. And there we have it. So if you want to expose the hole, you can run the blade around in there. You can also just use that handy Allen key once again. So not perfect, but it was a pretty quick job and it will definitely do. So I hope that helps. We've been asked for years how we do it and uh, to explain it a little better. So we'll leave it at that.